Behind me is a Volvo FH Lite. Now these trucks have been out for a few years now and they're doing incredibly well with payload conscious operators, especially in the tanker industry. Now this one has got the Euro 6 Step D of 500 horsepower, but it's also 500 kilograms lighter than a regular FH. Now I'm here with Volvo's Head of Product Management, John Comer, he's going to tell me where that 500 kilogram saving came from. Over to you John. Afternoon Will. Yeah, well, one of the key areas in terms of, of saving weight is to optimise it for the operator. So we've uh, got a, a sleeper cab, we have a, a single monoleaf uh, spring, and then we have um, this lightweight 16-tonne uh, uh, bogey, which gives us not only the weight saving, but obviously space on the chassis for uh, additional hydraulic tanks. And these hydraulic tanks have been fitted on from the factory and uh, finished off in the UK for um, um, bulk tipping operations and also we've got a, a new lightweight uh, 12 ton axle capable of 44 ton uh, gross combination weights and uh, this has been combined with a new lightweight suspension which includes uh, many aluminium cast brackets to further optimize uh, optimize the weight and the customer can then choose in terms of what payload they actually want to achieve and detail the truck to their exact specification. So this is available as FH and FM? Yeah, FH, F and FM. So you, you get the further saving on the FM where if you choose to go for the 11 litre engine at 460, of course. which gives you an extra 250 kilograms saving. And how many of these are you selling in the UK? Uh, on the FH model, it, it's really taken off really well. We're doing around about 300 a year on the FH, and the FM is doing around about uh, 200 a year. So one of the key things is that uh, we can save weight, but without having to optimise or disrupt driver comfort. So, uh, you know, we, the one inside the, the hall there has got the Globetrotter cab, and again, the weight saving for the sleeper is only 30 kilograms. So we can really um, optimise to keep the driver happy uh, and keep the uh, the payload. Yeah, so it appeals to both driver and gaffer. Yeah, so it's it, it's it's a great combination, and as I say, coupled with the performance of the of the 500 engine, uh, optimized drive line as well, we can look at the total performance of the truck in terms of fuel consumption. Uh, so it's a total uh, total package. But of course, that's not the only truck Volvo's got at Tipex this year. Here's the FMX, tried and tested, tough and a familiar sight on our roads now for the last nine years. Now, to coincide with the introduction of US6 Step D, Volvo have brought out a few changes to the chassis. Now, John's going to talk us through those. Yeah, so, Will, this is the FMX. This is the 13-litre version with the 420 engine. And um, one of the key things that we want to do with the FMX is obviously work with our bodied partners. So, as I say, we have a bodied stock offer through Thompson's and Bowweld uh, in, the tipper, in the tipper arena. But one of the key changes is the chassis. So we have to work with the bodybuilder in terms of, of the packaging uh, with the chassis. This particular one, we uh, have specified this one for frame free space. So this area here that normally takes a 275 litre uh, plastic tank, uh, that tank's been removed and located to the other side of the chassis. Um, so we've got here positioned for um, legs for cranes uh, and other equipment. And we've done the same on the other side where the out blue is normally on the right side. We've now positioned the AdBlue tank, 48 uh, litres here in, here, here in the wheelbase. So we've got the, the batteries, the air pressure management system and AdBlue all contained in one. And one of the key features that we, we really want to promote from the factory is, 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 is the chassis side guards, because this really helps the bodybuilder with regards to, uh, with regards to type approval. Yeah. So presumably the FM is still available, but um how much lighter is it? Yeah, the, the FM is still available, and, and while the FMX tends to look at the steel bodied muckaway segment. So, presumably, there's another weight saving to be had if you go for the 11 litre over the 13. Yeah, I mean, uh, there, is a, there, there is a choice of the two power units, and, and both uh, offer both significant performance, but the key weight saving between the two is 200 kilograms, which is not to be sniffed at. No, it's not. What's the most popular type of chassis configuration in the UK? Well, today uh, the most popular chassis configuration is, is still uh, leaf suspension, three leaf parabolic, known as the B-Ride. But we do have the option of uh, air, both uh, N3 and N3G, off-road defined, which gives us significant benefits because we can couple that with uh, tandem axle lift, 
And the operator's course. got the advantage of um, running home uh, uh, empty with the tyre up, saving tyre wear, yeah. but also giving a bit more manoeuvrability when, uh, when moving, moving unladen on site. So you've got an FMX in the halls, and I notice that's got a vertical stack. Um, this one doesn't, does it? No, it's, it's more of a, of a vertical outlet. Uh, the key uh, element with the uh, new design is that we no longer have a vertical stack. We have the silencer is, is chassis mounted, and maybe the preference these days is to have the outlet direct down as a, as a conventional truck in, in terms of saving weight and space. But this truck here, uh, also has the, as I said earlier, the frame free space option. So we want this space here, again, for the, for the crane leg. On the one in the hall, what we do with the space here is we use that for the Ad Blue tank. So we have 57 litres of Ad Blue within, uh, within this space. So we're looking at uh, 57 litres of Ad Blue. So in between the uh, wheelbase here, we've, we've got the permanent position for the exhaust, whatever the solution may be, with the SCR catalyst and the diesel particulate filter. And on this execution, we've got the, the fuel tank uh, placed here on the right and the short uh, chassis side guard. So do we have a deal? Yeah, I think so. Where do I sign? Well, you can come and join us in, in the hall on, on the stand and uh, there's the keys. <laughs>